developing touch me not children and developing touch me not society there was a tsunami of good touch and bad touch sessions in preschools of india last year not last year in 2019 even the social media was outgrown with the posts of good touch and bad touch videos of workshops or the animated films were uploaded in multifold good touch bad touch the phrase itself gives a bad feeling can't we call it safe and unsafe touch that sounds better isn't it preschools invited experts to guide the teachers parents and children as well even i got invitations to address the concerned population fortunately i was preoccupied and did not accept any invitation if i had i would have spoken against the motion instead of explaining all about the touch i would have led stress on the safety measures and trained the mature minds to take the responsibility of their children we can't burden the immature minds where the decision making hasn't been developed yet to be decided and between good and bad the tsunami of good and bad touch was irritating me and that irritation helped me to think beyond the surface and i could think of the society after 15 to 20 years from then the touch me not society every message or action leaves an impression on child's mind the verdict of good touch and bad touch too would have leave an impression on the mind of the child which will reflect in later years a baby's first experience to the surrounding environment occurs through touch the touch sense develops in prenatal period this sense never turns off and takes a break in fact it continues to work after other senses fail in the old age touch is essential for a child's growth in physical abilities and even social and emotional development touch is not only imperative for short term advancement with infancy and early childhood sensory experience but also for long term development within the child touch even continues to play an important role both in early development of physical and communication skills and also in a child's ability to participate in physical activities that incorporate touch and movement benefit children because they learn and develop the touch and feeling different objects especially the kinesthetic learners long term effect of touch varies from educational results to social and emotional growth the very co- cautions parents or the protective parents would not allow their children to touch or touched by anyone touch deprivation is probably most damaging to a child because unlike the other four senses underdeveloped lack of gregariousness or interest in exploring the environment timidly and withdrawal from virtually all social situations with concomitant self-directed stereotyped behavior obviously aversion to physical contact with others hyper aggressivity gross abnormalities in sexual behavior and later in adulthood the inability to nurture offspring with failure to nurse neglect and abusive behavior being highly predictable studies in this field reveal that the potential for a great deal of psychological human damage occur at a very early age essentially aspects of development including most importantly sexual affectionate development is asserted arrested or severely damaged 
Touch has a healing effect and it has its therapeutic uses too. Restricted touch will lead to violent behavior and violent society. When we hear a child abuse, incident and anger is obvious to rise but we feel helpless to do something about it. Of course, we need spread knowledge and sensitize the people in the society. Awareness of the child's safety and moral education are the only tools which can reduce such incidents. It needs to be eradicated completely. The world needs to be the safest place for every child to live in. That can be developed by giving higher standards of living that are moral values. Safety first. The foremost need is to have protecting and caring parents. Aren't we making children fearful about any touch? Each time the parent, teacher or any other adult will tell the child such good or bad touch, the fear will be reinforced. Researchers states Researches state that the close members, 93%, of the family mostly abuse children. When someone, a child, has been taught to trust, begins touching the private areas in a way that makes them feel good, they are left wondering why this is considered bad touch. Is the sexual assault to the child is the only child abuse? Child is at a risk in all aspects. Educate your children, educate yourself. Rather than focusing on catchy phrase, good touch and bad touch, consider be aware, afraid not. I repeat, be aware, afraid not. Lothok 2005 suggested that it is through the sense of touch that we learn to know and find a way in the world. As early as eight weeks gestation, an embryo able to respond to a touch on the cheeks and by 32 weeks an area of sense, sensory sensations are perceived through temperature, pressure, touch and pain. That was said by Montague 1986. When touch is an integral part of an infant, daily routine, growth and sleep are facilitated in performance on infant development test is enhanced. That is uh, said by Siegel in 1997 and Field in 2003. The touch is essential to human health and well-being. Positive tactile communication is deliberately incorporated as part of the daily routine. Various researchers have reported that using touch tenderly helps to communicate more effectively with children, adults and old people even. Touch reduces depression. There are evidences that touch increases quality of life. Aren't we encouraging the touch deprivation by giving the message of good touch and bad touch? What happens early in life invariably influences later experiences. Children who are deprived of touch often suffer physiological and psychological problems. The earlier in life this occurs, the more serious the implications and outcomes are. Children suffering from touch deprivation suffer more illness from capacity, increased hyperactivity and an increase in aggressive behavior. Field suggests that touch deprivation during childhood and adolescence may contribute to the higher incidence of violence in adulthood. Prescott uh, in 1990 found that in societies where more physical affection was given to children, there was also a lower rate of adult physical violence. At times, even perfectly innocent people action can sometimes be misconstrued and can cast a shadow over the relations and careers. Alert. See alert. Listen alert. 
Talk alert, touch alert, alone alert, hold alert, smell alert, sense alert. The child should not be victimized. The tension inherent in this complex topic needs to be more transparent. Current attitude towards touch reveals that there is much to understand about meaning and implications of no or low touch. A qualitative exploratory approach is required, which provides progress that meets the needs of all the children, adults and the society. So we need to be careful not to tell children about good touch and bad touch. We need not to have a society that is touch me not society. It is a Mm, going to impact of the human race, what kind, extinction of human race we can say, if we'll have the touch me not society, how can we think of the generations coming ahead? Th without touch, we cannot think of having children. So we need to be very careful. It not it a danger on the human race? We need to take care of it. We need to take the responsibility to work for this and take, and take the safety measures to save this human race. Thank you so much. Renu Vashisht from Meri Kaya, Meri Vedashala. Let's work together and let the human race be saved. Thank you so much.